What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're going to be discussing some WWE action figure news slash what I think we're going to see, guys. If you don't know already, coming up on November 3rd, 2019, on a Sunday, I do believe, up in New York, we're going to have Ringside Fest 2019. If you guys don't remember what Ringside Fest 2018 was, that was the show where they revealed uh, Elite Series 67, you know, with Randy Orton, Jeff Hardy, Velveteen Dream, Shayna Baszler, the Elimination Chamber playset they unveiled. Unveiled Elite Series 65, I do believe, and I think they unveiled some other things as well. I think Entrance Great to Elias was at that little event and everything like that. It's not like they don't reveal a ton, ton of stuff, but they do unveil some things. They they reveal some new, brand new stuff that'll probably be in the prototype stage, and then they'll unveil things that we already knew we were getting, some things that are, you know, uh, really close to coming out, and, you know, the final product of that. So, uh, like Elite Series 65, I don't think was, uh, you know, fully unveiled last year and then Elite Series 67 was still in the prototype stage when they unveiled it. So I'm going to show you guys what I believe we are going to be seeing at that show and that event and uh, maybe some new things that maybe will be finished and some stuff that I think will uh, probably, you know, the newer things that, you know, we don't quite, we haven't seen yet. So anyways, guys, let's go ahead and dive straight into it. Let's start off with some Elites here and let's start off with Elite Series 72. I think we'll see all of Elite Series 72 and they should be fully completed, not just render images, but everything should be completed. You guys know Becky Lynch, Rey Mysterio, uh, that includes uh, Buddy Murphy, that includes Batista, that includes Velveteen Dream as a part of that set. So I think that it's safe to say we should see all of that set. I cannot wait to see exactly what attire Velveteen Dream is going to be. So that's going to be back-to-back -back years that we're going to see a ringside fest Velveteen Dream Elite figure. So that will be really, really nice. I cannot wait to see again what attire it's going to be. Roderick Strong is also in this set. So what a strong set, man. Elite Series 72 is going to be absolutely bonkers when it comes to how great the set is. And uh, this is going to be the debut of the double jointed knees for the women's figures. So that's also a really big deal. And I cannot wait to see exactly what we got, man. It's going to be really, really good. It's going to be really cool. I cannot wait for it. And I think that they're going to knock this thing out of the park as far as Elite 72 is concerned. I would also expect to see Elite Series 73. I think Elite Series 73 will be there. And maybe even Elite Series Series 74 will be there in the prototype stage is what I would guess. I could be wrong about that, but I would at least expect to see Elite Series 73 in the prototype form, and I don't think it's even unveiled what uh, set that is. I don't know who's in that set. I'm not sure. Um, I'm sure it's going to be one of those figures or some of those figures that we saw at Comic-Con, you know, all the different... We got a ton of renders at Comic-Con, so I would expect that we've probably already seen Elite Series 73. We just don't know what figures it's going to be just yet, so that is something to take note of. Another set of figures that we could see is probably the Elite Top Talents line. You guys know the new Elite Top Talents. I think it was like Jeff Hardy, Seth Rollins, AJ Styles, and who was that last part? Rey Mysterio. I think that we'll probably see that. That set will probably either be in the prototype stage and that's a possibility as well. I'm sure we'll see some basics as well, but I don't, I don't really care about the basics. Um, we're here to talk about the Elites. You know, we, we care about the Elites here. So the Elite Top Talents 2020 line with AJ, Seth, Rey Mysterio, and Jeff Hardy, I would expect to see those in some capacity. I could be wrong about that, but I, I'm just feeling it. I feel like that would be you know, accurate. And then you got Elite Series 73. Another Elite set that I think we will see, guys, is the WrestleMania 36 Elites with Kofi Kingston, Matt Hardy, Cactus Jack slash Mick Foley, and Booker T with the Build-A-Figure Danny Davis referee figure. I think all five of these figures will be on display because, of course, if you buy all of the uh, WrestleMania Elites, you get to build a figure, and it's the referee, the Danny Davis referee figure. So, that's a really cool set. You know, you get five figures total if you buy all four of them. So I think that will be really nice. I cannot wait to see what those figures look like when they're finally done. You know, with the you know the the true effects head sculpts and all of that good jazz. I cannot wait to see what that will look like. But these these four elites or five, I should say, should be on display. I would expect it, and I I can't wait to see what parts we use. Maybe we'll get some new parts. Maybe we'll get some new things going on, new head sculpts, things of that nature. I'm really really hyped to see what these guys look like when they're finally finished. Um, another figure that I think we'll see in capacity, and I don't know if this is the top talents figure, but the Seth Rollins, the Seth Rollins that we saw in the Royal Rumble 2019 attire at San Diego Comic-Con in the render that came with three pairs of interchangeable hands, and then it's going to have that brand new head sculpt that we saw on the Seth Rollins 2018 SummerSlam basic figure uh, that was, you know, in the panel on display. I wonder if this figure will be on display. You know, we see the render here. Again, it could be a prototype. Maybe we'll get a prototype, but the head sculpt is 
is finished. So it would lead me to believe that, and since they already have the torso and the arms and shoulders of a Seth Rollins, and we've seen the same waist to the floor before, you know, the legs, the kick pads, the knee pads, we've seen all of that from Rollins before. I don't see why you couldn't just pop that basic head sculpt on there, use a Top Talents Rollins, paint it up, and slap decals on it. I don't see why that would be any any deal. I mean, I don't know how WWE action figures work and how the creation process goes, but I would imagine that it's pretty easy to do something like that, that it wouldn't take that long, especially the time in between Comic-Con and now. I would believe they would at least be able to get one up for, you know, uh, like finalized for this little event here at Ringside Fest in New York. So I think that we'll probably see this Top Talent Seth Rollins or whatever series. I, it was never confirmed that this was the Top Talents figure. It's just what I'm guessing based off of images and, you know, what they've showed us so far with the Top Talents 2020. So hopefully we'll see AJ and Ray and Jeff and I hope they pick good attires. In the images for the Top Talents, they have like a black attire for Jeff. They have like a black and orange attire for Ray and then they have the WrestleMania 35 five attire for AJ Styles and I'd be down for you know that AJ Styles I'd really like something different for Jeff I would like a it, since it's going to be a top talents 2020 I'm pretty sure it's going to be you know a, a, a current day Hardy for sure Rey Mysterio will most likely be a, a current attire as well just because you know they always give us the current Rey Mysterios but I like the current ones better I don't like the long pants I love the the new modern Rey Mysterios that we've been getting are fantastic so AJ Styles is probably going to be WrestleMania 35 which is excellent for me I don't I, I don't care I, I'm down for any AJ but uh, there's some more figures that I think we're going to see. Another figure that I think we're going to see, guys, is the ringside exclusive Kane or Imposter Kane slash Undertaker, whatever you want to call him here. I think that this figure is easily going to be on display. I wonder what head sculpt they'll put on display with it. If I had to guess, it would probably be the Undertaker head sculpt because that's like the whole deal with it is it is Imposter Kane. And it's supposed to be two figures in one. You know, you can make Kane, you can make Undertaker. And I definitely have to grab two of these for that reason. I think I'm going to get one with the Undertaker head sculpt for my Undertaker taker shelf and then i'm going to grab another one to add the cane head sculpt to to have me a cane figure for my cane shelf which would be debut cane so that will be a really cool figure to add up there and a fix up that would be relatively easy i don't think we'll require surgery for that one because it'll be really interchangeable and easy so there's imposter cane ringside exclusive i think we'll see that and uh some other figures that i think we'll see guys is the two pack the elite two pack that's up for pre-order right now on ringside collectibles that is the AJ Styles slash Finn Balor TLC 2017 two pack, the Elite two pack with the inter the two sweet interchangeable hands. I would imagine that they would come with something else. I I don't think it'll just be two Elite figures and some interchangeable hands, considering what I think the price will be for these. Like I would guess the price is going to be thirty nine ninety nine for these two Elites. So if that is going to be the case, you guys remember how we used to get the Nation of Domination two pack with Farouk and the Rock at Kmart and things of that nature. If it's going to be something like that, I would imagine it would be more than just, you know, the the freaking interchangeable hands here. I could be wrong about that, but uh, I think that it would be better if we got anything else other than just that. Maybe even some chairs or something. I don't know. Just that's I would I would hope that it would come with more than just interchangeable hands. I could be wrong though. Again, I could be wrong. It could just be interchangeable hands and whatever, but I am hyped to get the two sweet hands regardless. Even if this is an Elite 56 and Entrance Greats Finn Balor, you know, re-release, it's still going to be cool. I hate that they're using that terrible head sculpt, but you know, it is what it is. What are you going to do? Uh, it, it's something to take note of. And also, there's open knee pads on this Finn Balor, which is interesting. Uh, we've never seen that before. We've always seen the old knee pads, so uh, that will be cool to see if they change it to open knee pads like he actually wears. And next up, guys, this is totally crazy, and I know you're probably like, Brad, why do you have this random basic R-Truth and this Lince Dorado and this 24-7 championship up on the screen? Well, this is what's crazy, is I actually had a dream about Ringside Fest. It was like a week ago or maybe eight days ago. I can't remember, but this is something I actually dreamed of. I dreamed that we got shown a brand new R-Truth Elite, and it, uh, maybe it wasn't complete, maybe it'll be complete, maybe it won't, but I did remember seeing an R-Truth Elite figure with this same exact basic head sculpt. I know we're getting the basic figure, but I think we're going to get the same basic head sculpt on an, a, new, a brand new Elite R-Truth, and it's going to come with the 24-7 Championship as a, as a uh, accessory. It'll probably come with an entrance uh, shirt or vest. And then I also had a dream that all of those luchadors, but specifically Lince Dorado, was complete and he was on display as well. So you heard it here first. If that happens, guys, that's going to be really weird. It's going to be like a premonition that I saw that R-Truth and the 24-7 championship and then uh, Lince Dorado, Grand Metalik, 
and Kalisto were all completed. But it was specifically in the dream. Kalisto and Grand Metalik were not in the dream. It was just Lindsay Dorado and R Truth. So we'll have to see if that, you know, comes to pass. And if that comes to pass, that will be crazy. So you heard it here first. If they show it off, we are going to cover all the news, guys. But we do have to wait until November 3rd. November 3rd is when all of this stuff drops at Ringside Fest. And I can't wait for it. You know, they always knock it out of the park. They always show us really good stuff. And it's kind of an interesting note is because at Ringside Fest 2019 last year, they showed off that elimination. Chamber playset, and we literally got this what a month ago. So it's kind of crazy that it, it took almost a year to get that thing out, which is kind of ridiculous. But uh, one other figure that I'd like to see, and um, something that I've been really wanting ever since you know he he didn't get released from the company or anything, but it is Leo Rush. I really want to see a Leo Rush figure. I know that that's probably not going to happen. I know that he he was probably in hot water, so they probably canceled the plans to make him a figure, and I'm sure it pushed it back and stuff like that. But who knows? Anything things possible. We'll just have to find out and see if that is going to be the case. But Leo Rush would be my final figure that I'd want to see. That'd be like the figure, if I could pick one figure, that is probably a guy that I would choose to for them to make and for us to see. Just because I'm interested to see how they're going to make that guy. I think it's going to be really interesting to see what parts they use. Things of that nature. But we just saw him back on NXT. He's back in Cruiserweight contention. He's the number one contender for the Cruiserweight title. I think him and Drew Gulak will have a great match for that championship. Since all the 205 Live superstars moved over to NXT. I can't wait to see it, man, but I really do want a Leo Rush. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Ringside Fest 2019 coming soon. I cannot wait to see what figures we get. It's going to be absolutely nuts. But um, also yesterday, since I don't know if my Elite Series 71 is coming, I went ahead and placed an order for a full set of Elite Series 71. So if it comes in, then uh, it, it should be here in the next few days, and maybe we will get some reviews in here. But anyways, I ordered some, and I cannot wait to get those in here and review. But thank you you guys so much for watching subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe figure videos what figures do you think they're going to show us at ringside fest 2019 comment down below subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you